Så det som over. I saw great. I just love that. Hello, I'm Flats, and today I'm here with Shanks. There he is. Uh, and we're going to sit down and catch up with all of the Guinness Six Nations coaches and captains to discuss, well, obviously, the upcoming Guinness Six Nations. Um, that's a ball, a rugby ball. Didn't need that when I played, don't need it now, so. Okay. My ball. Um, now, these aren't your average interview questions. We're going to spice things up a fair bit, ask some unconventional questions, which I know you're dying to find the answers out to. Yeah, we want to catch some of these guys out, okay? So let's crack on. Is somebody waiting for somebody to start? We'll like ask it. you the questions. Yeah, exactly. What, what would you like to know? Uh, What's prison like? <laughs> uh, Wayne, welcome to uh, Dating Behind Bars with myself and David Flatman. Got some unconventional questions that people have emailed in um, that want to know. Um, we've got... That's dangerous. That's dangerous. When you say unconventional, people written in, it's just you two, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah you're all right. Oh, they're, they're random, but they're not... You have nothing to worry about. Who's the first one to take their top off on a night out? Lonely, you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the, the series rugby questions you've got to ask. <laughs> these are what the people want to know. Um, <laughs> Gregor, who's going to win the FIFA World Cup? The FIFA World Cup, Scotland. Really? Are they in it? Are they in it? They're, they're still in the qualifying stages, oh, yeah. They could, they could, they're going to play Wales. Uh, they drew with England in the Euros, you might remember, and Busy probably should have won Busy. that game. Busy, <laughs> You're um, John Terry and Ryan Giggs, aren't you? I don't know why. <laughs> no idea why. One year to the Ryder Cup. We're changing sports now uh, in Italy. Who's the best golfer out of the players and who's the best golfer out of the management? Definitely Todd Taylor. He's the junior uh, analyst. We call him Plankton, that's his nickname. Uh, bottom of the food chain. Dan, are you one of the only professional, elite professionals um, in world rugby who doesn't play a round of golf every week or are you a golfer yourself? Uh, I used to play quite a lot, but four years ago I had a little boy, so that tends to just say just saying to the wife, "Can I pop out for four hours and go and play 18 holes of golf?" Tends to after training or whatever is is has changed life a little bit. It's not golf, mate. It's a business meeting. That's where you, that's where you're going wrong. Qui est qui est le joueur Gael dans l'équipe de France? Qui est le pire habillé? Qui s'habille le le plus mal? Il y en a beaucoup. <rire> Il y en a beaucoup. En tout cas, celui qui s'habille le mieux, c'était dit Thomas, ça c'est sûr. Après, euh, celui qui s'habille le moins bien, je parle au français, mais euh, on va dire Antoine Dupont avec sa couverture euh, de GQ. <rire> mais Antoine Dupont, il est euh, sur le, le, le magasin GQ. Ah, il s'habille très bien, il s'habille très bien. <rire> Exactement. Sa tenue, elle n'était pas... Euh... Dans, dans une grande robe jaune. Euh... Oh. Mm. Euh... <rire> Exactement. Yeah. Um... This, this might take some thinking about. If you could be any insect, which insect would it be? I mean, quite difficult, um, but I'd be an ant. It's up to you. I was just thinking an ant because they're the strongest underclats. If they were a human being, they could lift a double decker bus up. But has anyone, Tom, in your squad, a particular petrol head? Uh, we had the, um, the old simulator, and um, Yulesy and Will Stewart. We're on it 24-7 and Will Stewart got some record time that he beat Lewis Hamilton. So, I don't know wow. if I'd say Will Stewart because he probably couldn't fit in one. Get him in a real car, mate. It'd never hit 100 miles an hour, that lump in it, so it doesn't count. Yeah, you're right. Uh, sure. What winter sport would you like to try? Both of you. Curling. <laughs> I'm yeah. rubbish at skiing. Uh, knees are gone. I did snowboard once, but uh, fell over a lot. What do you call that massive thing when you go down the stage? Ski jump. Ski jump, I'd, I'd give that a bath. Uh, yeah. Would you? Diff difficult one, that one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I want, yeah, I want, to see, I want to see what injuries you could get when you land. <laughs> yeah, I reckon, yeah, I reckon quite a lot, actually. If um, if there was one footballer in particular that you admire, who would that be? It has to be Man United for me. Back in, like, obviously, back in the good days, like Keane and Scholes. Um, yeah. that, that, that generation, I love all of them. Not all of them. Katie, what's your favourite film of all time? Um, the Lord of the Ring. Which one? Yeah. Oh. The trilogy, all of them. Which one? Yeah, the trilogy in general. I've read all that, all those books, so oh, um, okay. I really love, I really love Tolkien, and 
his story so yeah yeah good good you know, i mean most people don't have an answer to that it takes them a minute to think of an answer that's good you've, you've thought about that <laughs> um, we don't want you to get too personal but we do want to know a person who would you um least like to be stranded on a desert island with for six months from our squad yep oh I think ah, oh, that's a that's a big one. Um, I'd probably say Big Xander because he would just whinge from the very first minute you get on that island. Oh, I love that. Um, I love that. And he'll probably end up you'll probably end up eating eating me at some point as well. I mean, I feel this, this is a sappuccino in here. I love a good sappuccino. I love a mo. <laughs> it's what gets you through. I, I like him even more now. You've told me that. Nicola Cannone. Otherwise, we we'll, we we'll, we will. Um, just re ruin our our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> who would be the worst? Who would be the worst teammate to live with, Johnny? The worst teammate to live with, Bundiaki. Why? Why? Because he do nothing. He he lives at home and he's you know he's he does nothing for himself. <laughs> lives at home but does nothing for himself. Uh, so. Yeah. If I was with them, I also do nothing for myself. So we <laughs> we, we, we die. We die. <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more of us. And uh, make sure you hit that notification bell wherever it is, uh, so that when we drop it, it lands. And also make sure you catch all the action starting this weekend. See ya. Ta -ra.